Hello everyone and welcome to part two of the you just can you see you just the biggest <laughs> uh, setup ever I am basically I basically found myself at one point at the end of April with nothing done on my memory keeping a Bonichi journal so I decided that I will challenge myself and throw back in time and throw the all April in one sitting. Well, that did not happen, of course, I failed <laughs> miserably. But uh, yeah, I sort of uh, finished it. I finished the whole month, thank you very much. Uh, but it, it happened like in three times, let's say, which is still not too bad, right? Uh, so let's begin with um, the first video. If you didn't see it, it's up on, in my channel, but uh, it goes from April 1st to April 15th. And this one is goes from April, April 16th to the end of the month uh, so I decided to do this because on April 16 well it's half of the month but also April 16 uh, my mom came over for a week uh, to visit so I thought it would make sense to split it that way uh, this first page it's when I go pick her up pick I went pick her up sorry um, at the Grand Central Station and we had this so good cake in Bryan Park. It's the best cake ever. Lady M, if you're ever over there, just go and try it. Not affiliated, not sponsored. It's just freaking good. Um, so uh, we <laughs> we had a cake there. And the next day was Easter. And we had brunch with uh, some family. Um, it's my mom's uh, cousin and his son and his wife. Uh, and uh, we had this brunch and then we had coffee at this Italian place in Brooklyn. Uh, and the coffee was so good. We had like this so good pistachio cookies that they made there. So it was pretty nice. Um, I don't know how much you've seen of my videos, but pretty much I use this Obonichi as a memory keeping and I just doodle here and there. And sometimes I have no uh, uh, time to do it. So I write on top, uh, on the top right corner, like the main things that happen there. And then I doodle it when I have time. So what I'm trying to do here is just highlighting the things that make me um, happy or the nicest thing to happen. Even if they're not too nice, that's fine. And if I have nothing to report, I just make up some drawing here and there. So the one that you saw before, this one uh, was a place where we went with my mom to eat some food and drink wine. I had wine she doesn't drink. Uh, as you can see, most of the drawing here are about food because that's what I do. I eat um, and I just my mom follows. Uh, we went to get pancakes because she wanted to have pancakes. Um, it was a long time that she didn't come to the to the States. So um, she didn't have the real pancakes, the real deal pancakes for years. So we had to go and get the best pancakes in New York, or so they say. Um, so this, the, the old drawings that I'm using, like pretty much whatever I find on my desk or lay around my desk. But um, yeah, I'm using a lot of markers and watercolor and stuff like that. Uh, so um, this one, it's another place that if you ever come to New York and you don't know where to go, go to the Oyster Bar at Central Station. It's the best thing ever. It's a very old style place. Uh, they have mostly seafood, uh, but it, it, it's just so delicious. It's a great place. It's a beautiful place that like it's amazing. Like absolutely, I recommend it. Again, food, <laughs> only food. I mean, what's the best thing in life? Food? <laughs> wine um there's other things family love whatever but yeah food first right <laughs> i'm joking anyway uh, next day we went to uh the greenwood cemetery another place and if you are visiting new york please go check it out it's not a touristic place obviously but it's an amazing cemetery um i don't remember when oh is it from, I think the 1800 or something around that or 1900. I don't want to say I'm very bad with dates. So check it out, <laughs> but it's very nice. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. It's like a huge park on a hill. You see the old city and there's trees and all this 
oh, it, it's just amazing. Go check it out. On the bottom, I brought my mom to the opera because it's a thing. You come to New York, you want to go to the Met Opera. And don't think it's uh, ac that expensive. You can buy, as I did, <laughs> the, um, the tickets like very, very far, far away on top, of top, top, top of the... <laughs> of the y'all there but you still see it you still enjoy the experience and that's all it matters right and the tickets were about i think 30 dollars which is like not cheap but not even like that expensive for the opera tickets you know so it's like doable you can do it uh, one time and we had a lot of fun uh, it was a very nice experience i think for her um i'm gonna go back to with watercolor on that drawing but if you see there's like those like sparkly things those were like the um, candelabra i think it's called oh. uh and sorry <laughs> uh, they are all over in the mat so it's it's very nice my mom was like all about those things and then on the next page of course food uh we had like a we had ramen that my mom never had in her life so and she loved it and then some pie that she never tried it neither so that that was fun we had like apple pie and um i think some battery i don't remember what batteries uh and then we just walked we had like a long walk downtown uh we went to see uh the world trade center um uh, how they redid it and she never seen it so she liked it a lot and the paper that i stick there it's just a paper from chocolate that she brought me from italy and um i just kept eating them <laughs> every day all the time and they're delicious uh so i just wanted to make like a very colorful spread here so i just like colored the buildings as they're not obviously in real life but i just went up and down like because i started with a like grayish uh color but then i was like eh, i'm just gonna use all the colors ever uh, and why not right that's the beauty of having a journal like you can do whatever you want it doesn't have to be realistic or it can be as realistic as you want whatever makes you happy right um so uh here i'm just going over the opera <laughs> the, i mean my version of the opera um in uh with watercolor and there was just a lot of red because the seats are red so like i just wanted to reproduce that that stood in my um in my mind and uh, here I'm just writing with a marker Greenwood Cemetery and um, and the Met Opera, which is something that I do often. I'm realizing, um, like I doodle and I color with watercolor, and then I write down with the, a black marker here and there, which is I think, I, I think the I like the effect of that. It's like messy but also like colorful. I like it. Um, here we went to a building. It was like such a great place for my mom. It's like um, the, our friend brought us there, and it's a tea room, and they it's all like um, beautiful place with teapot and teacups, and, and they serve you a teapot that whatever tea kind of tea you you pick and you get a whole teapot for it and then you get sandwiches and uh, sweet stuff it was like so delicious but mostly very fun uh it's just the whole experience it's nice and i i wanted to like remember it because it was such a nice uh moment my mom loved it um like they have like all different teacups and, and, and teapots and, and plates and, and like all these little things that she loves. So it was great. And the food was good. Um, so we went all there and we had a lot of fun. And um, so as usual, I uh, used um, uh, eyeliner to, to doodle it. And then I went over with the uh, watercolor. Uh, I just want to make a note about these sort of drawings because I, <laughs> I learned uh by messing it up so many times make sure if you do something like that make sure that your pen is waterproof otherwise it's gonna be a mess there's like uh people that use and i tried it out and it's actually a pretty cool effect like you can use an ink a pen with an ink that it's not waterproof and um um and then go over with watercolor and you sort of like the ink dissolves and creates like this sort of watercolory effect 
So it's a pretty cool effect, but you want to know that you are going for that effect. Otherwise, it's going to be a mess. Like if you want to just color in, you need to figure that out. Um, next page, my mom left. So I put uh, a, a fight there because I, I brought her to the airport, said goodbye. And she went, everything went well. And um, because you never know now with COVID, uh, like paperwork and stuff that you have to take, you never know if you're actually going to fly out. <laughs> she managed. And then uh, after that, I, I brought my uh, dog to the vet. And unfortunately, she has the evil earworm, which is a pain. Uh, I'll discuss that a bit later. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's good. It's a bit of a mess. Anyway, next, 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 it's this page that I wanted to try for a good while. So I use a paper towel. I don't know if you do it. You probably do. Like when I use watercolor, if I use too much water, um, I uh, sort of like dump the, some paper towel on it so that it absorbs the water and I can keep uh, working with the watercolor, right? So the paper towel itself at the end of every time that i work with it, it it's all like colorful and i sort of like it and i always thought that i could use it for something uh, so i tried it here with this um uh, i'm using uh, gesso uh, it's the transparent kind so i just put the slapped the paper towel on the page and then passed the um the gesso over it it's sort of like acts like a glue so it glues the paper towel on the page but if you see here now it's dried because it's, tra it's transparent it, you don't see the gesso anymore and you can see all the color of the paper towel i thought it was cute i go back after that with the uh, sort of like a bronze gold pen to make like some uh, uh, gold stars just to make it a little bit more interesting uh, you'll see it in a second uh, here so uh, what happened, the, the basic, like very quickly about our worms, um, if you have a dog, get it checked out. We uh, adopted Nina, my dog, a year ago, and uh, she came from a shelter. And according to the vet, she probably already had our worm, but this don't show for like months and months. So we checked her again now and she has them so it's a pain because the, the treatment is very long and she cannot do any exercise for months uh, so i tried to get a bunch of things that she can do in house so she doesn't get completely crazy <laughs> and one of these things is like these kongs which are like pretty much uh, i don't know how many years you are with dog stuff and i don't know why i'm talking so much about this but um yeah kongs are like little rubber toys that you can stuff with food inside so the dog like spends time chewing on it and and uh, doesn't get completely crazy so i bought a bunch of those and i just thought it would be nice to um draw it there so i remember um and uh, i think i like it very much i like the that drawing how it came out i like the red i like the shapes that are very weird i i like it a lot anyway let's move on that this page is one of those pages when like nothing crazy happened that it's worth it to doodle or whatever then they so i have the i got these watercolors in an art snack box and i just love them i love the colors so much so i just I uh, thought that I would do like a quick swatch of those uh, watercolors and, and I put our shapes because that whole day was like about like loving my dog and being anxious about my dog. So like <laughs> I, don't, I will change that into color for co uh, hearts, you know, sometimes you have to make it a little better. Um, and here I put like those stars with this gel pen that it's like sort of like gold bronze color. Okay, and this is a good tip, I think. Let me know what you think in the comments. For when something happened that you use something on a page and it bleeds through or um, shadows, like you can see it on the next page. That's like a sort of cute way, I think, to just use those stains to randomly doodle around it and like act like if everything is fine and <laughs> make it even like a cute page out of it. I thought it was... Um, 
pretty pretty cute right the way it came out let me know what you think i mean it's a thing uh, it's not a masterpiece but it's still cute and it's still a way to fill in a page in a day when not too much happened again uh, next page here the one that i'm working on i had some um some friends over and we had pizza and beer and we sort we um added on the roof with the view so it was very nice again i'm using a bunch of colors because i like colorful spreads as you can <laughs> imagine or figure by by now uh, so it's it's a very uh, sketchy um uh, doodle there like i'm not going into details and i think sometimes it's fine uh, you don't need to do like a super realistic uh, representation and this is for people that uh, like me that i'm super lazy sometimes and i don't want to do too much uh, but also like for people that uh, are like working on their skills it's it's good to know that like you don't have to be super detailed or super skilled to to do s something like this like a memory keeping journal uh, with doodles you just need to like highlight whatever you like the most it's about colors it's about like spending time the way you like and playing it around so uh, that's all it is it's it's about you pretty much so this is a, f um, a flip through of the last 15 days of april i hope you enjoyed this sort of video please let me know in the comments what you think and if you want to see more of this um i hope you have a lovely day and thank you very much for watching this i really appreciate it bye guys to the next one